So here we are in what's turning out to be a friendly best of three with my friend. Um, first game started out going along normally uh, until I, in the period of two turns, rolled nine damage from a one of the fours alone and uh, basically won the game from that. Um, then the second game, he rolled out a natural 10 damage on the with no rerolls on his second turn and killed the ray and the rest of the game went easy from there. Um, so now we're going to see who's who's got it in them to win two out of three. Um, I want to get rid of willpower and field medic probably. They're not good at the beginning obviously you don't have damage. Um, and the one with the force. I don't really need it. I have a force throw to claim for at the beginning so what I'm really looking for in a starting hand is uh, like at least one removal, um, either Jedi Robes or Ray Snap, and then um, a card I can claim for. So the only thing I'm missing here is Jedi Robes and Ray Snap, uh, which is sad. I like those as my starting upgrades. Looks like I'll be hold off last turn. Turn one, because it's my only two cost option. But what can you do? Two. So we're playing on his this time. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I guess I can return hold up blasters for more action economy. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Let's roll Po. Nothing good. Okay, he doesn't react. All right. It's not bad for me. The one thing I didn't want to see is like a, a ton of damage just coming out turn one. Um, he has no resources now, uh, which means that I probably reroll here. Um, I'm going to get rid of Saber. Um, keeping. I don't like these resource sides at the beginning because I don't have resources, obviously. So I'm going to roll everything else. Um, okay, so I have a lot of resources here. That's good. I'm going to be able to get a lot of upgrades on Ray, um, which is your your best play in a game where you don't have your your site, your battlefield, is to try to get Ray stacked. Unfortunately, that means he's going to hit my uh, Ray for three this turn. He's going to be able to remove the shields from her, which really is quite unfortunate. Um, how do I want to do this? I'm going to get rid of misdirection. We roll these three dice. Resource on Poe would have been nice, but I want damage from Poe. Well, evidently. My Po refuses to cooperate, so I'm just going to resolve three. Turns out I should have saved that one for three. Die. Um, we're going to hit him for a card. Discard a card. Um, 
not the best card I could have seen. I would have liked to have seen a removal there. I mean, that is, I guess, I'm, I'm stupid. That is a removal card. <laughs> uh, I think I pass here. So he should definitely reroll here. He has a lot of dice on the board. Um, and if he hits damage, it just puts him that much farther ahead. Best thing I can hope for is that he he uh, okay. That was annoying. Um, I'm gonna keep hold up blaster in play. I want both hold up blasters to redeploy to oh. That was a horrible turn for me, besides getting a lot of resources. So Ray's dying this turn, which means that we are definitely going to roll out her first. And try to resolve the holdout blasters before they kill her. So he's not responding, evidently. Um, I'm going to discard to reroll these three. My next action. That's okay. I got three. I'm gonna get three damage out from the holdouts. Before they even redeploy. Interesting. He should have removed the black guy, because he knows that he's gonna kill Ray before I activate Poe. There's no way around that. I'm not doing anything. Um that would jeopardize that play. We're gonna hit the Bala. He's closer to dying. He's only got eight health. Discard a card from his hand. Card to get rid of. It's nice that I do this deflect before Ray died. Um, <laughs> that's actually so good for him. Like in a deck like his, uh, where he has so much health, anytime he gets those shields out there, I don't know, it's, it's decent. He like shields, man. I don't know though. Maybe rerolling for damage is better, but shields feel good. Yeah. So he's making the choice to go all in and bingo. Makes sense. Now, when your opponent's in a situation where they have redeploy weapons and they don't want to resolve, they don't want to roll out their character until the other character has died. Um,
What you want, what what you should do in that, what he should be doing in his position is taking as many actions as he can, be as many actions that aren't like dealing damage before he tries, before he kills the ray. Um, that will mean that he'll be able to claim the battlefield at the end of the turn most likely. Whereas if he just immediately deals the damage to Ray, um, interesting. I just pass here. He definitely should not have done that. Um, I get another roll off of Ray. Oh, nice. Even better. And I have defensive position too, so Ray's gonna... Ray's going to live. We'll see, though. We probably should have rolled her there, actually. Um, so now he's gonna be able to roll Balotik, and then when I roll Ray, he's gonna be able to roll Django, and then resolve. So that's scarier than just Django. Um, but we'll see. He should definitely activate Bala right now. Um, get those dice out there. Get his reactivation going. So even if so, if he rolls the trooper and does kill Ray, then Balatik's trigger effect does nothing. If he rolls Balatik and then kills Ray, Balatik's trigger effect does do something. So it's definitely he should definitely be rolling Balatik now. Definitely the right decision. If he rolls damage here, it puts me in an interesting position. He did not. So I roll Ray. That was really lucky for me. Wow, that's a lot of resources. Just pick it up and drop it. Cool. So I take these three resources. If I can get Ray to survive this turn with a big defensive position, then hopefully next turn I draw like a one of the force. Um, nice. Uh, so I'm playing Ray's staff here on Poe because it's got it's got insane sides actually. It's three damage sides, one of which is a three, and it's got that uh, really good special. I actually have a friend, uh, Will Klein, the uh, good Vader Raider player who he he puts Ray's staff in a Leia Akbar deck, <laughs> all ranged obviously in that deck, but he runs Ray's staff because the dice is just that good. Um, I'm discarding card here, just the kind of a soft pass. I don't want to re-roll it. Um, I don't want to roll Poe yet. Nice! I hit his Lecture Shock. That makes me so happy. Um, ideally, he rolls plus modifiers and has to roll multiple times before he can resolve his damage, and I'll be able to hit everything with defensive position. Yeah, go ahead and reroll the ballas. I know that you're going to reroll re them anyways. So you rolled blanks over here, which is nice. And a plus two, and a one. That's sad. I'd much rather seen... Um, well, two plus twos. Yeah, he's going to do the smart thing. He's always three damage. Um... So 
So Ray is a goner, but we have a decently equipped Poe in play. And let's see how he does. So we got that three for one side. That's pretty good. Um, we got a, a one ranged. It's not bad. Cool. He's going to get rid of the three for one. So we actually really hope that he rerolls um, the trooper die here and hits the two or one of his twos. Nope, he extra shocks. So evidently, I'm in, I'm just no good for rolling Poe this game. Uh, um, so I could force throw two at him, or I could go for re-rolling these and potentially getting if I get two one third chances. If I get one of them, it does more damage. So I'm re-rolling. I just I have to take these odds. Cool. So now I deal four to Balabeek. Which he actually didn't trigger his ability this turn, did he? So that's a big deal for him. But I maybe would have forced thrown his die anyways. Might have gone better. Who knows? Oh man, I have so many resources. Field medic, willpower, both of which I'll be able to play. Mind probe's good from hand, obviously. So this, I do want to get lightsaber out there actually, because it's better than the holdouts. Um, but I'm going to do it at the end of the turn because I need to roll out um, and threaten to kill the Vala. Okay, so that's no good. That's insane. Got five damage sitting out there. Could have used like some damage sides of my holdouts, but what can you do? Just gonna fight 30, get off three damage. It's a good value play before he dies. Um, so then I hit him for two. And then I stop resolving. Why? Because if I reroll holdouts, I want to have the, the three for one to trigger to use them with. So my discard card here is Jedi Ropes. So yep, that plus two is pretty valuable. I'll be able to finish off his trooper this turn. I'll be able to willpower, I'm going to do five here, willpower and hit for one.
So I go ahead and hit for five. <laughs> if he takes, the only thing that stops that def definite play is if he takes the shield right now. Nice, nice, he's rolling bad. I need that. So I do one. Fortunately got the one damage, which means that he's going to be able to trigger his range. Whatever. Um, so here or do I want to overwrite with Saber? I think I do. Uh one reason being that it's a blue dice and I have uh force misdirection in my deck, and I also have a raised staff. Um, so, and Saber just does more damage than a whole lot does. Heal up too. So I pass. Four. I got a hit and run, so that's really nice. If I hit, if I roll well on this Poe activation, um, we're looking at possibly um, killing Django this turn. If I can get five damage off on a mind probe, and then we roll into other damage, um, we're looking golden. Don't have removal this turn, which is really scary. Is what it is. Nope. I'm not doing that. I'm playing hit and run. And then I'm rolling. Almost forgot to play hit and run. Okay, so we got the Pro Special. Unfortunately, he played a card, so it's only gonna the Mind Probe's only gonna do four. So I resolve special. I'll Mind Probe you for four, and I'll go ahead and resolve the Saber Special as well. So he's going to hit me for four. I hit him for the melee to get rid of his hunger down. And then he should claim. Unless he has backup muscle. Nope, dug in. So next time I start with the dug in. Um, how many cards do I have? So yeah, I can get rid of this com link. So I use race staff is good because I can actually use it as a removal. If I get a special and I, I need it desperately. So there's that force misdirection that my uh, lightsaber is going to be for. 
um, collect those resources. Okay, so this is getting really scary. Um, essentially, if Django rolls big, I lose. Um, I didn't draw my other hit and run. I don't think I've played two. Nope. So that's an issue. But if I live to next turn, I probably win because of the hit and run. So we'll see. Got a special. Which means that if he doesn't do anything, if he doesn't kill me here, I'm going to be hitting him for... Five and removing a dice on my next action. So I'll be able to triple focus with Poe. So he doesn't have the resource. So this is actually key. Okay, I will Poe special for triple focus on one with the force. Actually, I might leave that on the, um, pin that to the two for one, and pin this to the five. I will then continue resolving specials and do three with one of the force, and remove your two for one die. So that was a really big play. Um, Really key. I'm gonna be able to. I have five damage sitting here, and he has one shield. So I do the melee first because uh, theoretically, if he could maybe. No, I don't think there's any way that he could get to. Um, so you are at five, right? So when I do three damage, you should be at eight. Oh, right, I'm dumb. <laughs> so you rolled into the two shield, uh, so I just go ahead and deal that first. Because that means saver special is really good. Good old backup muscle. So I get rid of all these cards because I, I just want the hit and run. That's all I want. And I didn't get it. That is incredibly sad. However, I got a willpower. So if he doesn't kill him, if he doesn't roll into six damage, I win. If he rolls into six damage, he wins. His odds of getting 6 damage aren't, like, 100%. They're also not low. Um, especially if he hits something on his jetpack. Oof. So he did 4. And that's why... That's why willpower is so good, because things like this happen all the time. Good game. Good game.